Greetings, fellow CI stalkers. Radamon here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 125 of Wendigos, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Don't feel self-conscious, I make it look easy. Thanks. <clears throat> I am super ridiculously overpowered, but that was kind of the whole concept of this series is for me to be super ridiculously overpowered. So if it if I make it look easy, it's it's a little by design. I find myself using some of the knowledge and experience I have in RimWorld and making the raids look easy so I can tell a story at the same time. Come on, last raids. Hey, Shield, are you... Uh, thank you for the gifted sub, by the way, to Anarisu. But um, are you keeping track of the predictions for the raid amount? Because I could probably quantify, uh, count them up, but I don't know where I started, which is kind of the problem. So I hope someone's keeping track of that. It's one of the reasons I didn't volunteer to do it myself, because I knew there was a lot of math to be had. So I think Trader needs to die his armor, as does Mellet. Uh, probably Moles as well, so Moles... Have you hit this up now? The original five uh, wear favorite colors, whereas everybody else wears ideological colors. So I'm trying to trying to make sure that that stays true. Glitch is obviously in his jet black or his near jet black. I advise you not to have anyone have jet black as a armor preference, because then they just look stupid. They look like a shadow, and not in a good way. Oh, you didn't start one. Got it. Oh, I didn't really pay attention to that. I guess a good prediction would be, would anyone die uh, in the remaining reactor raids? But the problem is, does Treader just cheese his count? He died, but like, I killed him on purpose. So it would be really, really hard to even figure if that was like, legal or not. I don't know. How come I don't have to bury anyone? Uh, people are buried. I think, uh, Mellorbode, it might be in your advantage to just watch episode one on YouTube to get a point of reference. I know, I do realize that, like, coming in partway through a series is really challenging to figure out what's going on. And you're welcome to do it, but, um, uh, asking questions that could easily be answered by, uh, watching YouTube episodes. I mean, you're welcome to do it, but uh, I think. You're just going to be utterly confused, and that seems to be the case. Alright, I think we're done dyeing the colors of clothing. Maybe Glitch has... Nope, even his underlayers are properly colored. Sweet. Yeah, the reason I don't have people died is I eat them. As evidenced by the piles of human meat strewn about the base. But even if I didn't eat them, I wouldn't bury them. So, Treader's Eye is not yet done. I'm probably not going to install it before the end of the reactor raids, though, because I don't want him out of commission uh, with the little time that I have remaining. But I'll, I'll have his eye and the surgery queued up for once the reactor raids are over. Even when the reactor raids are over, I'm sure I'm going to get raided still. Oh, we're just... Oh, no. How did the... Oh, I guess someone finished hauling them. I was like, how did the corpse count go up? We didn't kill anyone. So that's Treader's Eye. But I'm going to suspend it. Treader no longer even has res sickness, which... Isn't that really fast? I thought res sickness lasted longer. Maybe all of his bionics made him clear res sickness out of his system faster? I'm just not sure if that's the case or not. I really don't know. But um, it seems like his synthetic heart is gone as well.
Because everybody in the in the colony had synthetic hearts, and he, for some reason or other, doesn't have a synthetic heart anymore. I don't know where that went. It could be the healing enhancers that did it. Yeah. I mean, if I was to guess, I'd guess that that's what it was. But I'm really unsure why the synthetic heart disappeared. Because he had it. Absolutely, he had it prior to... Uh, prior to dying. And I didn't cut out his heart. I cut off his head. I mean, because, you know, here it is. Yeah, I don't know. That's kind of strange. Definitely very strange. Maybe euthanasia was cutting out his heart? No, the euthanasia by cut is just like a generic cut. I don't think it's a heart cut. But speaking of heart cuts, um... Let's cut out someone's heart. If I have time before next raid, we'll see. Public execution of Valley. The reward, What? what is the ritual here? Oh, this is an execution. Yeah, this is an actual ritual. Swing. And it was satisfying. A little bit of mood boost. All relics were present, but I think for an ex execution, because it's not a ritual, it wouldn't matter. Uh, so if we look at the needs here, we have all three relics at ritual. No, it did count. Cool. And then satisfying execution for six days, so plus ten mood. Have I seen Adam do the biphasic schedule? Yeah. I mean, I've played that way too. The only disadvantage of that would be um, the managing of the amounts of sleep level. That basically you never have any everyone at sleep at once, and also the disadvantages of um, so so one of the main disadvantages of biphasic sleep schedule, especially when you live on map tiles where you actually do hunting, is hunting at night, unless you have a darkness beam, really puts you at a significant disadvantage. So that the animals that you would easily be able to outrun during the day, you cannot outrun during the night. It's particularly more damaging when you're an early on colony and you don't have bionic legs and you don't have good weapons and skills. But uh, I usually find that the effort to put biphasic schedules in is not worth it uh, most of the time. Not to say all the time, but most of the time it's just uh, it's more effort than it's worth. the advantages don't outweigh the um, nuisance or risk. Also, the schedules don't so much matter when you are a quick sleeper like I am, because obviously my guys are not on the schedules that they're even assigned to, because most of everybody here, due to bed quality and implants and, and whatnot, don't even sleep for the hours scheduled, so they just kind of work at whim. But if you're if you're talking about bang for your buck, trying to take advantage of the most daylight hours as possible is best because you move faster, you work faster, you hunt faster, everything is more efficient when you have uh, light and light levels. So, you know, there's a lot of reasons why you shouldn't bother when it's dark out to work, unless you're indoors. And if you really wanted to, you could play at slow speed. I mean, the thing is, what works for, like, playing on your own efficiently and min-maxing does not really work for streaming. Uh, or at least not for me. You know, if I, if I had a series where it was just pure min-max series, where, like, I was no pause and I played on one speed all the time, and all I was trying to do is that. Okay, there's an argument to be, to be made to try to maximize sleep schedules and not, whatnot. But this is a role play series. I have so many rules about raising the challenges 
and I'm trying to have it be paced in a way that is entertaining. So there's, you know, when you're when you're trying to play at really really high levels, there's two sort of theaters of thought, which is one where it's like I'm going to play on the hardest difficulty, but I'm going to make it interesting. I'm not going to play on the slowest speed. I'm going to have a lot of other rules uh, to have the series differentiated from other people's content. Or you have a lot of streamers that just go 500 percent no pause challenges. The problem is. Every sin I mean, this sounds like I'm insulting their content. I'm not, because playing at 500% speed or difficulties or threat rather is very, very difficult. But all of those end up being the same because you've cranked up the challenges so much that you have to play min maxed. Much the way that, like, if you watch pro StarCraft 2 players, everything that they do is the most efficient meta possible. You know, same with the most like um, pro pro esports is when you crank up the difficulty so much, everything starts to look the same. So when you watch an EF uh, Escape from Tarkov player playing Escape from Tarkov at the highest possible level, all of their strategies and all their approaches are basically identical to every other pro player because that's what pro looks like. Um, so in order for my content to not feel stale. Instead of going the 500% no pause where every single series would start blending into one another, I'd rather do thematically themed stories like this because I think it is a lot more fresh and interesting. You know, so this colony, for instance, doesn't use autonomous weapons and we're forced to use, you know, um, the feral weapons, which are strong, but come with a lot of disadvantages. They're not necessarily meta. It does make us weaker against certain opponents. You know, we live on the sea ice. We have no natural resources. It's just... So, if, in the future, if you guys want to see a 500% threat, no pause or something like that, um, you know, I'm happy to do it if it was voted on. But I do think that doing too many of those back-to-back -back will blend into one another and it won't feel any different because everything has to be min maxed at that point and then and then the argument is to be made because i know a lot of rimworld exploits um ones far worse than any that i ever use you know if i was playing for myself on 500 percent threat no pause speed run to space or something like that there are dozens of ridiculously easy to win against all raid types of exploits that you know one could use hypothetically but I just don't think that they make for compelling content, which is why you you don't tend to see me use them because they're um, you know they're boring. Like they're, and I don't even really share them on the channel because I think that they um, that some of the exploits are so severe that in to my mind there's really no difference between using the exploit and just going to dev menu and going kill 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 because some of these exploits are just that bad that they're, they're basically just cheats. Like, I know some exploits that, like, uh, your brawlers can brawl enemies, and the enemies can't brawl you back. Basically, you get free melee hits on everybody that ever attacks you other than breachers and sappers, and they can never attack you back. Sounds pretty ridiculous, right? It is. Because how could you ever lose? Right? You just literally you can't lose unless you screw up the strategy somehow. Using exploits... That, um, that go to that kind of level um, absolutely ruin the the challenge. Do you think RimWorld will ever have a multiplayer, a vanilla multiplayer? So, um, Ludeon Studios, which is the studios that obviously made RimWorld, uh, put out a hiring request for to hire someone with multiplayer unity experience. Someone that um, had experience in the Unity engine, which is RimWorld is a modified Unity engine. So I would say yes. I think that I, I have no idea if and when, but yeah, I think it's likely. How pause will be uh, treated there, I have no idea. Probably something like if the host pause, the game pauses, I'd imagine. I don't tend to like... I tend to dislike video games that literally can't be paused, so I'd imagine that the multiplayer would be treated something like um, Stellaris, where, you know, if host pauses, the game pauses. 
It's possible that Ludion is working on a new game too. Yeah. That's possible. Oh, here's a raid, I think. It's got to be a big one because my game is full frozen. I'm not moving at all. We might have problems. <laughs> I, uh, I might have so many corpses on the map tile that, um, whatever this raid or vent is, is a hang up. I'm gonna leave it hanging for like 30 more seconds to see if it moves, but it's possible it doesn't. Oh, here it goes. The colonies. Potting down. Um, I'm gonna regroup south near the doomsdays. Hey, cheese. Thanks for uh, 30 months of resubbing. It has been a wild ride. That it has. We got 28 in the west, northwest, 38 in the north, or northeast, 38 in the northwest, 27 in the south. Um, should I use Doom triples? Dooms or trips? What do you think? Yay or nay? I don't know what kind of weapons they have. Um, I'll get to know that soon. But we'll we'll gather south. So once they all pop out of their little pods here. We've got, in the northeast, no danger doom weapons or anything like that. Northwest, same deal, no danger or dooms. South, uh, no danger or dooms. So this is not a dooms or triple raid. Joja Cam, thank you for the resub. Full year at tier two, I appreciate it. And a little reminder, if you're a subscriber of mine and you haven't voted in the poll that's posted to Discord about determining the miniseries marathon for next Saturday, um, Cast your vote. There hasn't been too many votes there, so your votes matter. You can heavily influence the uh, the results of the vote as a result. All right, I'm gonna have these guys grab some special weapons. So Apollo is close to the, uh, the Doomsdays again. So we'll have Apollo pick up a Doom. And Treader, you'll pick up a Doom. Byron, thank you for give, gifting out a sub to the brand new viewer, Malorbode. And Malorbode, I hope your many questions, some at least, have been answered. I am a little bit uh, overdue for whatever trade caravan was supposed to come, so I'm a little worried about that. And then before we all, um, before we all rally to uh, against this raid, let me close this door. Actually, let me close this one. This door is the front door is probably even better, so they don't even go into the maze. Close that door so that um, they're not um, rallying to the wrong spot. And Zolan, thanks for the resub as well. Uh, Ven, I'm going to have you grab one too. So one Doomsday per raid group. because we only have three hours left, so this is almost certainly the last raid I'm gonna have as part of the reactor raids. So that would be a one death, a one, technically, well, technically two, but one death for all reactor raids for all 14 and change days, which is not bad. It's not bad at all. And this raid is just walking, got it. You're gonna have cheese, you jump, and glitch, you get ready to invis. Where are they going? All right, brawlers. And shooters. Hey, Tumbling. How you doing, buddy? And welcome. You were playing Factorio? I heard you, what, I think you started a new one? Is that right?
That was not very effective, but that's okay. So, Ven and Apollius, let's get you not firing at will. So, I don't, you don't just release a shot. I'm going to huddle up against the wall here so that they don't really have a line of sight on me until I'm... Uh, until they're coming around the corner and they're going to get shredded. Oh, low shield pack. You know what? Two pl can play at that game. Who's got the low shield here? So Mallet has one. Yeah, let's pop it. And then Scowly hit Marksman Command. Now it seems like the groups up here are sort of breaking up, so I might actually ditch the Dooms. Only because, um... I'm gonna have them switch... I'm gonna put them in the caravan, but I'm gonna have them switch out of it. Because I think what's likely to happen is that, um... The other raid groups... Break up too much for Dooms to be effective. That they trickle in just a few at a time and they don't they don't stay in one big herd. So I'll have the Dooms on me, but knowing that I might not use them. Who comes with a wooden Warhammer? Like, don't use a training weapon. This is not going to fare well for you. So 18 seconds of the burnout. Plenty of time to do plenty of damage. Zlebi. I'll tend to you. And the southern group is gone. So, yeah, the maximum of 10 days to know if there's a... Um, if there is a... You know, a negative effect of resurrection is indeed correct. With the caveat uh, that the... Sorry, that the, um, that you're probably not going to have a negative effect if you haven't had any, like, rot or anything like that. So I'm not all that worried about corpse rot. We shouldn't let, oh, what's his saying? Oh, okay, no problem. Some frack raids down there. How many times did you get shot? All of them. Yeah, they're 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 cycling in just a few at a time, so I don't think it's going to be possible to to get a uh, a good doom on them. I'd rather save it for when it's going to be more effective. Zleba never has weapons. He's he's not disarmed. He just doesn't need them. He has two advanced power arms, which are like better than power claws. So he just rips up enemies with his bare hands. Hey, Artyom. You're in the wrong series, buddy. Uh, Treader took a clipped from damage. Oh, you know what? This is going to be fun. So they just dropped a uh, low shield, obviously. I'm going to have their grenadier uh, go berserk. Oh, they're brawling him. That's too bad. All right, it will be joined on the left here in a minute. Oh, is this uh? No, it's not the right Oscar. Oh no, my walls! Another problem that I have is this is probably not in the home zone. No, it isn't because it's a new addition. So, don't forget the bitey bites. Yes, he does have um, uh, venom teeth. I'm going to fall back just to get them away from their low shield so that I'm not firing on a unbreakable uh, bullet barrier. And the other group is coming in from the other side. So they are already fleeing. That's not much of a problem. Raptor 10 Treader. And then Mallet.
Oh, and then uh, Mel tend your mother. Okay, there's yet another hole. And the reactor is ready. Reactor aids are done. So the focus is build the rest of the ship. God, what happened to that shield belt, dude? He just straight disappeared. Oh, what are you doing? You bet you better not use those frag grenades on my wall anymore. Or it's gonna be lights out for you. What the heck is this? Also, the animal hauling zone is like super screwed up. I don't know how it got so screwed up. a bit better. Oh, God, Blizz. Uh, <laughs> okay. My animal haulers have been shot at this whole time. Let me um, jump to help them. Raptor's breaking from the group and gonna go help Blizz so we don't lose Blizz at the last minute. I probably shouldn't have... Um, you know what? I don't have to do this. Hold on, let me fix this. I was gonna say, I probably shouldn't have grouped there because I'm breaking my walls, but let me just fix it. Now, and of course they do low shields. All right, so just jump back then. Here and here. Any other low shielders here? It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? I don't think so. And now they're fleeing. All right, Blizz is uh, headed to a hospital bed. I'm gonna give him actual industrial meds so he heals up quicker. Plus, that's what I have in my pockets. The remainder of them, let's unforbid everything, try to get these walls built back and clean up. Also, I'm a little worried about friendly fire here, so just be careful about that. So you'd said, uh, Use the dooms and trips. I used them once. So technically, I still use them. Alright, Raptor. Ted Blizz. Sorry, Blizz. Blizz is probably surviving just because he's mostly, um... He's mostly robotic, so that there wasn't a lot of bleeds that could even be dealt to him. So the Rack Raid has been done. We're... we're we're completed. So now that all we need to do is to build the fancy bits. The expensive fancy bits. Have we decided that the animals deserve a place on the ship? Let's vote on that. Should I take animals with me to space? And then if so, which will be the next poll? Raptor and Blizz just formed a bond. <laughs> really? You've been a pet in my colony for how long and now you're bonded? Miscellaneous, where is the uh, numbers, records? Time in colony? I don't really know if there's like a time in colony and not as a colonist. Oh no, time is colonist. All right, 3.7 years, finally bonded. Oh, is this another raid? Nope. It was just the game having problems loading because of the millions of corpses I have, I suspect.
Zafi. Thank you for the resub. And no, there is no chance for more. I'm already strapped for time, so. Unless you can come up with a way for there to be more than 168 hours in a week. Um, I don't think there's going to be more YouTube episodes. Sorry. But if you do come up a way for there to be time dilation, I don't think I'm going to be using it to do more YouTube. No offense, I just, uh, it's probably not a good use of my, uh, my waking hours. If you do manage to figure out how to rip a hole in space-time. Oh, I am excited. Oh, oops. Get on back there. I'm excited about finally building the ship. If I want more than 168 in a week, play Factorio, time will distort. If I played Factorio, that means that I wasn't, wouldn't be putting out more YouTube comment, content anyway, right? So I'd still be back to square one with the problem. <laughs> so now that those raids are over, let's have uh, Treader go for those surgeries for the body parts that we're missing. And good luck, because Eli is going to be your surgeon. It's funny, because if I take a look at the um, the surgery success chance here, Eli is even above Raptor. Just not above Mallet. But obviously it's over 100%. So statistically, there should be no problems with Eli doing the surgery. It's just, you know, patterns form and luck is a thing. Want to show Cheese's skull? Sure. Hey, Cheese. Here's your skull. Normal, I would say spoilers, but it happened this stream. If you're wondering, you uh, suffered a brain injury, a traumatic brain injury, and the way to cure your brain injury was to uh, euthanize you by cut, cut off your head to remove your brain so that when we re resurrected you, you didn't have the brain injury, so that's what we did. We uh, we murdered you for love. What is our colony wealth now? Oh boy. Look at those reactor raids. It's like, boop. He failed! <laughs> oh God. Oh God. Oh boy. All right, time for a new heart. Eli the Butcher strikes again, snacking on the torso of Toretter. One percent. You have, you have one fortieth of your torso left. He got in there with his scalpel and went, hee 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 and just cut everything. There is basically no torso left. Holy cow. <laughs> Robert Liston strikes again. Oh my goodness. Eli, I was just extolling your virtues as a 100 and f whatever it was percent chance, and you still just cut everything. Uh, so you guys do want to take animals to space. What animals should go to space? Just Blizz and Tacos? Blizz, Tacos, and Shell Bell. Only the bison or all animals. I think those are pretty good subsets of the f the total. So, there it is. Figure out how many pods we need to build. Oh man, what a what a surgery. He uh he cracked your no, no, what did he do? He stabbed your torso for 31 damage. No, more than that. For 33 and a half damage. The worst part is you have to make your own heart. No, I'll have someone else make your heart. I'll have Zertrana do it. 
I actually think Zertrana was the one that made that. Maybe Amber's. Oh, uh, do yep. Hello, breachers. Oh, you're like Dalmatians. There's 101 of you. Well, there there is now. There won't be soon. Because I have a current poll up, I can't poll at the moment. But in the spirit of how the polls have been going, I think this is what you all want. All right, who's the other? Uh, Slotus, you're the other shooter nearby. You want to stay in bed for this one? Oh, don't worry, you're anesthetized. I don't think you're getting up, even if you wanted to be. Give puppies a treat. Oh, you know, the other alternative is I could try to shell them. You know, I kind of want to do that, too. Uh, like a little bit. So, Viper, you just hit 20 sh shooting skill. So how about you help me out with this? They are grouped up very nice-like. So Slash, Zertrana, Mallet, Slotus, Glitch, you rendezvous here. And Viper uh, has forgotten what I ordered Viper to do already. Come on, Viper. Focus. Focus, my good man. What are you doing? What are you doing? Yeah, go get the... He's just like, yeah, these are these are mortar shells. These aren't drugs. I only want drugs. Yeah, look at them. They're all grouped up. Hurry up. Hustle your little little vipery butt. So Slashes or Trana are only here to kill these initial breach in the front people. Not enough go juice. Yeah, I'd say that's probably true. All right, uh, hold fires off. Set force target for here. No, maybe a little bit further up. Here. Yep, that will do. Nope, 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 nope. They stop kind of moving. Okay, that looks really, really good. Looks really good. And now, shell reload. Don't worry, I'll look. I'm not that cool that I don't look at these. Oh, it looks spot on. Oh, yeah! Wrong neighborhood! Bye-bye. All right, sorry, slow to smell it. Next time, buddies. Next time. Twas worth it. Twas so worth it. Bye bye. All right. Looks like Blizz, Tacos, and Shelba are coming with us. So. Just the three. Was that worth a tea? Oh, you're you're not zoned away from the tea. You can drink tea whenever you want. And beer, hypothetically, but we don't have any beer on this. Well, here, let me... What is going on? Why can't I haul beer here? Manufactured drugs, beer, important. 
I think the the stockpile is just broken, so I'm gonna I'm gonna rectify that now. Sometimes this happens where, despite the high priority, they just don't even haul it where it belongs. There. Yeah, you've never been stopped from drinking beer or tea. But what I could give you for that good shot is some ambrosia. That is a unique drug that you're not scheduled to take. So I'll give you ambrosia. Oh, what is pausing me now? More raids? Oh, the combat supplier. Okay. I was about to be like, come on now, reactors are done. Let's go trade with fish. Smarty, do you live up to your name? Oh, yeah, it... Nope. That is a sarcastic nickname. Very ironically named. Yep. Yep. I bet you're an engineer, though. Yeah. Kunike, always the engineer. The crafting, constructing engineer. Well, Treader is capable of walking. Zertrana, I'm gonna wake you out of your slumber if you're slumbering to help you with that heart. And here is the, uh... Okay, I'm, um... I'm gonna need to do some really annoying things here. If I want to sell the weapons that I have... Sometimes the traders care if they're in stockpile, sometimes they don't. This trader does care. Because when I went to trade, even the Packers Survival Meals were just like, Oh, nope, you only have 10 of them, which is obviously not true. There's like 300 on this map tile. So let's try this again. Hey, look, 380 in the map tile. Yeah, no kidding. They have high explosive shells, let's just buy them. I'm actually going to sell the incendiary shells because I don't really want them. And then, you'll have to bear with me as I click yes to sell weapons for like an hour. This is why I called them in, so I could ditch some of the garbage that I have. I also have a terrible relationship with them. Like, downright terrible because I shot a whole bunch of them when I called them in as uh, friendlies. So... I suspect there will be a lot of gifts to be made as well. If I even have stuff left to gift at the end of this. All right, that's all they can afford. So now everything else is a gift. Oh yeah, there's plenty to gift. Yo, don't I can hear you chewing behind me. Don't do that, dude. Don't do it. Your little footsies can't help it. I actually might just gift all of the Packer survival meals just to be done with it. Hi, buddy. And some of the broken down locust armor. There we go. I gave so much. So 18 to 100. And that will help to, to get rid of some of the garbage that's on the map tile. Oh man, I deleted my... um. There we go. For me to paint the entire map would just be... Take me so long. That's why I didn't do it. But uh, we did just gift... Almost everything. We didn't gift this little... Oh, well, some of this is stuff I just bought. But... Sweet. How many corpses are still here? Almost 800. Um, I think for the speed of my game, 
so I don't like hard lock up, I'm gonna start scorch torching corpses. I uh I just I just can't handle anymore. The problem is the moment I set enough of them on fire, the the storyteller is just gonna be like delivering me snow. Maybe I shouldn't um, set them on fire then. Maybe I should like triple launch them or something ridiculous. Isn't it possible to gift corpses? Uh, I don't think so, because it's not something that they want. I could double check though. Yeah, I could fragnate them, but that would take a long time. I'm trying not to give myself too much micromanagement. I'll double check if I can't gift corpses though, but I'm, I don't know, something tells me I won't be able to. The total kill count now that, uh, now that we're through. So here's the total kills, which is Mel and Slast at about five, low five, same with Tourette, Raptor at four, all the way down to Amber's now at 27. So they're trying to caught up because of the crank gun. It's unsurprising. A lot of kills. And I think in the statistics, I've had 148 enemy raids, 173 major threats. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, the the human corpses here for gifts. These are the only things they accept. Corpses not included. Traders don't tend to buy corpses unless they're modified. But as long as I burn small clusters of corpses at a time, uh, it shouldn't cause precipitation. The way that works is um, if the storyteller, or if the game detects that there's too much fire at once, it will trigger rain or snow, depending on the temperature, as a method to... Uh, and I think it's I think it's honestly because underpowered machines when you have too much fire will lag you up. So it's a it's a way to prevent the game from sort of locking up on underperforming uh, hardware. So it's kind of a nice thing, uh, in my opinion. But it sucks when you have a lot of things you want to burn. Thank you for tuning in to Wendigos, which originally streamed live on Twitch January 9th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, Wendigos.